Welcome to the Blue Cafe, we bring you stories of faith, love, and devotion. Yeah, just kidding, please help us grow by hitting that like button. Now on to the story. Wife admitted to having an ongoing affair with her boss, who's married with two kids, after only being married to me for four months. Post separation. Hi all, I really appreciate this community and found it very helpful throughout this process so I'd like to share a truncated version of my story. My ex-wife and I had been together for about six years before we got married last June of 2021. Getting married during a pandemic wasn't easy. But we had a wonderful wedding and it was one of the happiest days of my life. Fast forward a few months later and my wife became a completely different person. She opted to go to the office regularly while I continued to work from home. We both worked from home throughout the pandemic. She worked for a big firm so the longer hours seemed to be part of the course, but she no longer wanted to spend quality time with me on the weekends spending a lot of time with her horse, and began to downplay my achievements, claiming I was no longer a go-getter even though I was doing very well at work. People say that the first year of marriage can be hard, so I started taking my wife on regular date nights to reinvigorate our relationship, but she remained withdrawn and judgmental which was a big blow to my self-esteem. I racked my brain thinking of what I might have done to make her act and feel this way, but I couldn't come up with anything plausible, so I started to lose sleep thinking I was, possibly, losing my wife to someone else. These were the worst months of my life because I couldn't believe you could lose the person you married so shortly after tying the knot, so I convinced myself it was the pressure of her job that was causing her to act this way and I opted to suppress the negative thoughts to avoid exacerbating the issues we were having. She was actually gaslighting me the whole time and I just didn't know it. T-Day, I organized a romantic weekend by the beach, despite my suspicions, in order to try and revive what we had prior to our marriage. I thought this would renew our bond, but she became more brazen with her disdain. I told her I loved her on our way to dinner, she didn't reciprocate, and later that evening she had me take an SFW photo of her in a bubble bath and when I mentioned that it was a bit too scandalous for social media, she responded that's not what I'm using it for. We have been intimate throughout our marriage, but she refused to be intimate with me on this trip. That's when I finally confronted her on my suspicions and demanded she be honest with me. She denied everything for a while, but I convinced her I had proof, I didn't, and she finally confessed. She admitted to sleeping with her boss on numerous occasions for months and that he was pressuring her to leave me. I went through a panic attack, which I never experienced before, and after finally calming down I realized what a fool she was for falling for his lies. I told her I was going to inform his wife and she responded she'll find out, but you won't be the one to tell her. That's when I knew my ex-wife had convinced herself she was going to run away with her boss. It was sick and a little evil, and I realized that my ex-wife was never who I married, the real her was this manipulative and vile stranger. She changed my flight that night and sent me to my parents' house and told me she would mail me some boxes of my clothes. I contacted the boss's wife via social media as soon as I got to the airport and that's when all hell broke loose. Long story short, the boss never planned on leaving his family and in order to try and save his marriage he distanced himself from my ex-wife as quickly as possible. Apparently HR had to get involved and my ex-wife quickly gained a reputation around her office. She cried and pleaded with me to take her back, but I told her she made the decision and I'm just completing her plan. Aftermath, success is the best revenge. Life has been good now that the dust has settled, I live near some of my closest friends, met a wonderful woman, and found a great job in CA. I'm learning to love myself again and have realized that my ex-wife's opinion of me during our marriage is not a reflection of who I am or my inherent value. I'm truly happier without her and while I occasionally feel disheartened by what transpired, I feel blessed that this truth came to light before we had kids.
Wow I can't believe she had you take a picture of her in the bathtub for her boss. These cheaters are seriously twisted in the head. Congrats on exiting that situation. I bet it excited her to know her husband was taking it for her AP. What a twisted individual. Hilarious how it backfired on her with the boss pressuring her to leave up meanwhile he had no intention of leaving his wife for her. At least the AP was taking out the trash for op. Yeah they are. My STBXW was planning on inviting her AP over with his GF to our place for the Super Bowl. They both agreed that it would be amazing and that it would be their little inside thing. The mindset of a cheater is truly evil and devious. 3.5 month into divorce. Come. On. It will really be very helpful for some of us if you can share the process by which you were able to have seemingly been able to detach from your partner rather quickly and with minimal damage. Most of us here are still reeling even after a year. Thanks. It is not easy and the pain still lingers. But you have to focus on yourself and improve yourself in any way you can. Exercising, eating better, adventuring, spending more time with friends and family. It all helped me cope with the trauma. I even worked hard to refine my resume and reached out to connections to find new job opportunities. It's not that I disliked my previous job, but I wanted a complete reset. I focused a lot of my energy at my new job to cement myself within the organization and distract myself from the pain. I still have trouble sleeping some nights, but as I got healthier and happier, I exuded a confidence that attracted the people around me. The best thing you can do is show growth and maturation despite these embarrassing circumstances. Show others that your ex does not define you and those around will start to admire you for a quality they never knew you had. Everything takes time and I promise you it was not easy for me in the early stages. But use this opportunity to find yourself again and evolve. Whatever happened to the ex-wife? Did she lose her job? Did the boss lose his job? What happened to the boss? Is there any chance they will end up together? How did her family slash friends react to the news of her infidelity? Deacon. They're not ending up together. HR set forth rules that no longer allowed them to work on cases together to protect the firm from liability, but my ex-wife inevitably left and found a new job. I don't know how her family and friends reacted since I don't know what kind of story she spun for them, but her father reached out to me via text with some very kind words. That was very big of him to do that and I am very grateful for his kindness. I still find it incredulous the twisted mindscape that cheaters create. They need to somehow invent justification for their choice to cheat and viola, an entire fantasy landscape springs into existence full of running away WTF is this even, as if they are both just going to quit their jobs and potentially walk away from any children involved to move away sick and live happily ever after, and just being with each other in happiness and love without the outside world ever intruding on them. And just as inexplicably they want to come home once the bubble pops and they are left with the consequences of their actions. Sadly and surprisingly many BS are willing to take back their betrayer because they still felt the love they had for that person even though that person demonstrated unequivocally that they don't have the same feelings for you. What is it about our society that people feel entitled to lie and cheat and be just awful partners but somehow still feel entitled to be in a relationship with the person they are betraying in such an awful manner? I told my ex-wife that if she felt any disdain for me to excuse her actions, so be it. But what did the boss's wife and kids ever do to her? She even had me meet the boss and his wife over lunch. It was an extremely selfish and stupid act on her part. TBH I may have worked on it if it was a one-time thing and she was truly remorseful. But to go back to him on numerous occasions and plot to leave me made the situation a very painful no-brainer. Your ex met her AP with his wife? Was this after you blew up their affair? Is your ex-wife AP still married? Did he and your ex-wife get fired from their jobs? This was before I blew up their affair. I'm not sure, but I think AP stayed married for the kids. HR separated them from working together, but my ex-wife left the firm shortly thereafter to avoid further humiliation. 
HR just wants to protect the company from liability, they don't care about anything else. What's up with wives and their bosses WTF? She was enamored with his status at the firm and she would always hint to me that he was going to help her make partner. I thought it was because she was doing good work, but now I know why she was so confident in that assertion. It's purely an ego thing. She feels like a loser for her lover choosing his family. But how spectacular could she view herself if she got you to take her back after all she did to you? I would have been an absolute schmuck to forgive that. Telling his wife was great but this is the most important part. Apparently HR had to get involved and my ex-wife quickly gained a reputation around her office. She cried and pleaded with me to take her back, but I told her she made the decision and I'm just completing her plan. Never take them back, especially when the person they really want to be turns them down. They'll have even less respect for you, if there was any left, and use you as a placeholder until they cheat again and find someone who wants a serious relationship. Agreed. A sad truth, but a truth nonetheless. So is your ex fired? Has she tried to act jealous even after you got together with someone else? She flipped out when she found out I was going on a trip with another woman. Like I betrayed her. It was very bizarre. She changed my flight that night and sent me to my parents house and told me she would mail me some boxes of my clothes. WTF? Yeah. That was a very savage move on her part. I was in such a haze at that point I didn't realize I was heading to my hometown until the plane landed. It felt like a bad dream. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please help us grow, hit that like button. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, 